understand that, you know, what I'd actually done, and I think it took a while for it to kind of sink in. And, you know, you know what, Michaela, look, I, here's what I think. We've got to wrap this up. I, I think... I commend you for getting your life back on track, right? Everyone deserves a second chance in life. You've got two kids, and I hope that you become the mother to them that you want to be, yeah. and that you're a different person. I can accept that you obviously learned a very harsh lesson there. I find it a lot harder to feel sorry for you when you're making money from a book about it, and I find it pretty irritating that you would then attack the media for lying about you and then not be able to name a single lie they've told. I just don't think that's a clever strategy. No one's going to feel sorry for you here. But what you can be is a force for a good message mm -hmm. in the way that you want to be without all the, the whining and probably without all the profiting. Mm -hmm. It's those two things that are going to annoy people. Do you know you're going to make a big profit from the book? I doubt it. How much do you think you'll make? I think maybe, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand. Not even as much money. Here's my advice. To, no, Here's my advice, Michaela. Okay. Give it to charity. Give it to a charity of people who've been adversely affected by drugs. If, you know, that's been my advice. Mm -hmm. And stop moaning about the media. You got the media I'm coverage. Golden, I just you got the media coverage you deserve. Yeah. Media. People too often. I've been on the. I've been on both sides of this fence, right? Media coverage when it's negative and it's unfair, undeserved is one thing. You deserved it. You yeah. know, you, you got the coverage that you deserved. Mm -hmm. And it's probably better for you just to say, you know what? I deserved it. Yeah. No, I totally did deserve it, and I feel like I did pay the price. You know, I'm not doing this to profit. I just kind of want to bring awareness and get my story out there. You know, which. I think okay, well listen, we've given you 10 minutes to put your story out there, <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you coming on. Thank okay, you, Paula, Thank thanks you. very much indeed. The book is You'll Never See Daylight Again. Uh, 10 to 8, you're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV.